Hi, this is Lee Ambergy. I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator in Mentor, Ohio. And thank you for joining me um, for today's video. And before I get started with the card, um, just to remind you that the mini catalog will be uh, going live, I believe it's January 5th. Uh, it's on here and yes, January 5th. Very, <laughs> very fine print at the bottom. Um, so we do have the mini catalog going live January 5th. And also the fitting florets. Um, the this is an early release. The bundle stamp set and the dies. And the last I checked, uh, the exclusive designer series paper um, that is still available. Um, also, we have going on the last chance um, from the current. That is from our current holiday mini catalog so the retire in a sense the retire list is out for that um so this these are the products that um, are going away there's also i have on my blog a link you can get um click on to for the this listing also what items are going to be carried over um also for december i have my framed florets pdf tutorial so that is with a $25 purchase before tax and shipping. Um, using this ordering host code, I will send you this PDF um, free. It's for five cards. It has photos, uh, a listing of all of the material used, and also the um, dimensions for um, the cardstock and designer series paper, um, all of that. So that is good until the end of December. And then also my All Occasion card series. This is something new um, I am kicking off January with. So it will feature this, this bundle here. It is in the, the new mini catalog. Um, and this is Something Fancy stamp set and Something Fancy dies. And each month um, we will build um, on this, this bundle, on this stamp set. Uh, making you will make six cards so there's also information on that on my blog so the card today is using some product from the new mini catalog and it, this looks kind of familiar it is because I did um, a Christmas I think this was a birthday I'm not sure there was three cards uh, slimline cards I featured on this showing you Use your designer series paper. Um, that was the focal of this. Have your designer series paper do the work for you. Don't don't recreate um, the wheel. So I just took this simple design and used it with new product. And the new product is um, the By the Sea designer series paper. It's six by six. And I did not pre-order this, and I probably will not order it, but my upline always throws out a challenge um, to those in the group. And if they want to participate, she will send them a sampling of new product from a new catalog, be it a mini or the annual catalog. And it's usually designer series papers, some embellishments, ribbon, that type of thing. So in my packet, I had the By the Sea 6x6 designer series paper. So this is a sampling of some of that paper. So this is one side. And the one side does have foil accents. And then this is um, the other side. And this is one side. And then what I debated, because then this was the opposite side. It, isn't that even pretty? Almost a holographic type of design to it, but it is like a foil on there. So anyway, that is the six by six paper. Um, the other is this, it's the shimmer, uh, fine shimmer paper, and that comes 12 by 12. And that comes, um, I did order, pre-order that. Gold, fresh Friesna, and soft succulent, I believe are the colors for that. So with this in mind, this is what we're going to be doing. And this was just love you to the beach and back and on the inside. I'm so happy I found you. So we're again taking that concept I used a couple weeks ago and we're just changing it up with, with new product. And on here, this um, the stamps I used and also in the, the mini catalog, this designer series paper is part of a suite, which it is like a C 
uh, a seaside vibe to it. I pulled out, this is from the annual catalog, Friends Are Like Seashells. This is the stamp set. It does have uh, coordinating dies. This also, the dies come with a um, embossing folder, a 3D embossing folder where um, it lines up with this, this die to give it, um, you emboss it and then you can also die cut it. So that's what I chose to use with my paper. So again, this was very simple. This comes six by six. So I just cut it three, three inches by six. I got then two cards I can make from this designer series paper. My slimline card, the base is seven by eight and a half, scored at three and a half. Um, very, very simple um, to do. My basic white then that I'm matting my designer series paper on would be the three and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And also for the inside, I have stamped um, wishing you the very best. In the front of this is going to be a birthday card. So let's get this out of the way, this out of the way for right now. Um, and I've already cut out, stamped and cut out uh, most of my little shell and, and um, some seaweed, I guess, um, elements. And what I did is I stamped um, these in crumb cake. I used the mini blending brush with petal pink to just add my color onto there. And um, then I went over everything with Winka Stella. Now on this type of sea grass, seaweed, um, I colored in, when you stamp this, it's, it's an open, um, it's not solid, it's this right here. Um, I wanted some color to it. So I stamped this in Granny Apple Green and then I just pulled out, and you could pull out your Granny Apple Green Stamping Right marker. I pulled out my blends, my stamping blends, and just added some color to that. So basically the the colors that I used was uh, Night and Navy was for my greeting. Granny Apple Green was for the ferns, seaweed. Um, Petal Pink was what I used with my blending brush, and I stamped um my stamps, my shell stamps in the crumb cake. So I have here, the, the greeting for this one is birthday and it's um, happy birthday to my beautiful friend. And that I know is gonna go in the bottom right. If you're not sure where you want to that to go, you can always lay your designer series paper and your other paper on there and then stamp to know but I this is not a large stamp so I know anywhere into here um, I'm going to be good to go I'm going to have plenty of room so now that I've said that <laughs> watch I'll, I'll goober it up some way <laughs> that always happens okay I want to see make sure I've got my ink on there and it looks good yep okay Put this on here, hopefully um, stamp it straight. It uh, I, I have struggled uh, the last week and a half, maybe two weeks. Um, yeah, I just don't know what it was. But as my daughter would say, she teaches uh, high school English. Everybody was on the struggle bus today in <laughs> the last week and a half that that has been me. I have been struggling. Um, so let me get this over here. I've got this stamp before I put it down. Um, I did die cut all of these other ones. Kept this one, pulled in my stamp and cut emboss mini. And there is a promotion um, starting January 5th. Also with the new catalog. It's also starting celebration. And there is a um, stamping up is offering a mini and also a, a mini that's in a they're calling boho blue a limited collection and i will have information also will be listed on my blog here on this post it will be underneath this video and 
think that looks like it might be lined up pretty good. I'm just going to, I don't want this to shift on me. So there, so I'm going to just tape that down. Get my sandwich right. Hopefully get this right, get this in here, crank it through. That off to the side. Okay. Plates off to the side. Pop this out. Die off to the side so I don't misplace that. And there's my starfish. Star is that a, no, it's not a starfish. I don't know. Whatever it is. All right, let's get this put together because it will go together pretty easy, except for deciding where I want to put my die cuts. So I'm gonna put this on here, and I want this to be more or less, this to be the sky, this to be the water, this to be the, the sand. And again, hopefully I'm not gonna struggle too much with getting this centered and even and straight and everything else. Um, this, this was sent to me, I think four inches, um, a four by six sheet. And I just cut off a half an inch. I knew that's what I wanted was a half an inch. And I figured I'm just going to put it down like this and I will trim, trim the edge off. Sometimes when I try to cut, it doesn't always work. <laughs> <laughs> Back to this struggle is real, folks. <laughs> oh, let me get my bone folder. Get that smoothed out. Okay, get our panel on. You know, and I pulled out my uh, grid paper, and it's... Uh, this is the Tahitian Tide, the new ink colors, but it kind of goes with my balmy blue. So let's get this on here. And like I said, hopefully, hopefully we're going to be centered pretty good. Good enough. All right. And then we're just going to add our, uh, our die cuts, our pieces, parts. Since I know I'm going to be putting tucking elements in behind, um, I am going to just put my adhesive in the center. So it just makes it a little bit easier than when I go to tuck things in behind. Okay. And I kind of do a dry run just to see if I like where I have stuff. I want to want that one more that way. You can use your tape runners for this. You can use liquid adhesive. You know I me. Mean? Like I'm always saying, use whatever adhesive you're comfortable with. It's to me, it's all a uh, personal choice. Now I'm going to end up covering some of that. Do I want this up here? I think I am. I think I'm going to tuck that. I'm going to tuck that bad baby. Come on. Get that off of there so I don't stick something else in there. I think I am going to tuck this one up in here. Maybe I'm not. You are probably watching this going, oh, come on, let just put it down there somewhere. <laughs> Put it on there. Did you like that? Okay, now 
<clears throat> back to the struggle bus. I also received in my packet of material um, the flat adhesive back pearls. And these are the gold faceted adhesive back sequins. Um, on this card, I received, these are the iridescent pastel gems. And they kind of look the blue. So that's why I put those on here. Um, and these, I'm not sure which ones I want to put on here. Um, you know what? I think I'll go with the adhesive. The, uh, these right here. The uh, gold faceted, faceted. So it's just now deciding where I want them. So I think I'm going to put one up here. Or no. You know, you people, you know, if you people watch my videos, you know I struggle with getting my my bling um just just right i ju i do i struggle with that because i'm not really sure uh, where i want to put it so we're going to go there and that's it all i have to do now is get the inside the inside greeting wishing you the very best and again let's see if we can get this on here Center. <laughs> so there, this is a uh, happy birthday. This is love you to the beach and back. And again, oh, I threw it in the floor. Um, it was all from this, this card I did a couple weeks ago, just changing it up with new designer series paper, new embellishments, um, and, and a stamp set and a die cut that I, I currently had in in my stash. So that's it. Um, let, let the designer series paper um, do the work for you. Those of you that are, are back uh, my age, uh, date myself, is, you know, let the fingers do the walking to the yellow pages. <laughs> so let your designer series paper do all the work for you. So I hope you have enjoyed um, today's card. Uh, a sneak peek at just a few things that's coming up in the new mini catalog and have a wonderful day. Bye.